my darlings welcome 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 to this oracle space i am an intuitive clear sentient and clairvoyant my darlings welcome today we will have an oracle message for you i had this feeling that there is a shift that is happening within your personal life love life right within your relationships with someone you care about a lot i had this feeling and I want to dive into this feeling and understand what's happening for the collective. What's happening for the collective? Let us get some clarity with this oracle message. All right, my darlings, let's see what is happening. What kind of shift is happening? It's a positive one. It's a positive one. That's for sure. Let's see. And we have storm fields and number nine we have I do feel peace is coming after some storm, after some turbulence. We have number nine, which is the number of a hermit, right? It's an energy of being reclusive, solitary, looking within, thinking about the past, connecting with uh, the core of, of the soul, right? Connecting with the God, with the source, with the universe, understanding the soul, understanding uh, a path ahead, understanding path in general, right? It's a recalibration, it's a personal transformation, inner transformation. So there was a turbulence of some sort within a specific relationship that you have. Maybe there was a fight, conflict, right? disagreement and i feel you guys are not in communication now with with this uh, tornado or something feels like some harsh words have been spoken right some truths have been uncovered maybe not very pleasant ones someone was not very thoughtful or considerate within this conversation so there was a conflict, all right, a disagreement, and I feel you guys parted your ways and you're not talking with this person. And look, uh, we do have flowers right here on the path, and we have a bee and some, you know, poisonous uh, mushrooms, which tells me that, yes, poison was spilled into this connection, but we do have a new growth. We do have flowers and we do have work that is required to make a repair. To make a repair, this is why we have a bee on top of the flower. To make a repair, you will have to do some work. And I feel you have been doing some work with this number nine of a hermit. It's an inner work. And I feel on the other side, there was some work as well. All right, the message is, you guys, the inner work is over, it's done. Now it's a time to do a work on the outer to repair the connection. And on both ends, it would require some work, some investment, right? Some, um, some dedication to repair, to repair. And how we repair the connection. If it was severed, it was, if it was ruptured, through vulnerability, through accountability, right? Through apologizing, through saying I'm sorry, through becoming accountable for your part. Within each rupture, there would be two parts accountable. Actively, not actively, but on both and there would be a need to get accountable. You know, let's say it's a passive, passive position. It's a passive position of one of the party. What that might mean that well, someone was not strong in their boundaries, someone allowed someone to treat them this way, someone was blind to red flags, or someone was, let's say, too, um, too insecure and allowed a certain person to behave a certain way for a real long time, right? Because of the fear of being left out in the cold. 
So there, there is a need to take accountability for actions or lack of it, to repair, to, to be vulnerable and open about that. And I feel you already went through the process of becoming aware of your portion, right? Within, with the number nine, we have transformation. And now there would be a point in the very, very near future that you will need to hold a conversation, authentic conversation, honest, direct, clear conversation with this other party, right? Expressing your part of accountability, okay? And it doesn't mean that you are agreeing to whatever they have been doing or uh, kind of like giving them green flag of conti to, to continue to do whatever they have been doing. No, 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 it's not that. It's not that. It's all about you stating what you have done wrong. Let's say it's a boundary that you failed to uphold, right? And with this statement, you are setting an intention not to do this anymore. Not to do this anymore, right? This is you repairing your own boundary and uh, redirecting the course of the connection. There would be a conversation, you guys, with this other party and you would need to state your part, right? State your part firmly, firmly, but openly, honestly, with kindness, with, with sincerity, right? And do not put everything on them because you played your own part, even if, again, it was a passive part, all right? Oh, all right, so let me get you some clarity, maybe advice. The High Priestess, yes, this is something that you learned from, definitely. There was some inner work done, right? High Priestess and the Hermit Energy with the number nine. By the way, uh, by the beginning of the Virgo season, this situation would be resolved. Yes, Eight of Swords we have right here, which is, I would say, the present state, because you don't know if there would be a repair. Eight of Swords is all about being in no communication. Guys, the key to repair this situation is to heal this rupture within yourself first with the star right here okay this is the healing this is the healing this is the hope that is being restored and for you to restore this connection to give it kind of like a green light you have to see at yourself you have to look at yourself you have to see what is your portion what is your portion all right guys and with a star and this is something that will open the door to healing with this person to healing within right to healing of the connection and to heal within this relationship with this very person your wish will come true and again to make this happen to make this happen you will have to understand your part to become aware of your part and if you already done all that you will have to agree with yourself that when this conversation will happen you will not keep silent you will not keep this realization to yourself hidden you will have to talk about that you will have to say things right so it will not be repeated anymore. So so the course would be changed. This is the key. Look, maybe you have done an inner work. You understand why it happened, right? And you process that, but maybe you decided not to talk about that with this person when they will come forward, right? Maybe you decided not to bring it up or something. Don't do that don't do that if you have these thoughts or this intention within universe will keep you stuck until you will change your intention your perspective 
because look this situation is for you to learn from for you to learn from to get stronger to know your worth right to learn how to uh, uphold your boundaries how to voice your needs your likes and dislikes all right how to be more open direct and authentic how to believe that you're worthy to receive you know, how to how to truly know that you will receive what you're asking for maybe that was the reason why you haven't been asking for anything because there was a, this deep seated belief that it will not it will not be granted shed it away even if it would be scary at first even if the step would be scary take it anyway <laughs> be scared and take the step this is the path of growth okay to step outside of the box outside of the comfort zone you have to grow you have to expand all right my darlings this is the message that we got for you there would be a repair if you will take these steps all right if this message resonates with you now it's a great time to hit the like button and let us claim this wonderful opportunity for a repair with the star emoji in the comments that would be greatly appreciated my darlings if you need private guidance i uh, do have all the info in the description would love to read for you i'm open for bookings as well i would like to welcome you to my instagram page and to my soul alchemy youtube channel where i talk about spiritual warfare soul alchemy obviously about um all things supernatural so if this is something that might interest you so i would love to see you there so my darlings this is all that i have for you i do send you lots of love bye